Hey friends, it's me, Simone. I have a new pen. It's a sailor. Yes, I got this from the virtual pen show on Instagram uh, for a really good price, in my opinion. And I purchased it because it has a special nib on it that I would either like to use as is or if it doesn't work out for me get it ground into a naginara togi grind nib from one of the nib meisters at the san francisco pen show this summer so let me show you what pen i purchased this is the sailor too hot habanero pro gear this pen came out in March of 2021. This was just right, uh, maybe a month before I got back into fountain pens, buying pens and inks and such. And I saw this, I think, Toasty from Toasty Treats on Instagram. And I think that's also her Twitch channel shared this in one of her collection videos. I don't know where I saw it, but I know that she has this pen and it's just, I saw it and I thought, oh, I would love to have this. And then I looked at the price and then I saw that it was so expensive and I just wasn't there yet. And then just recently someone posted Sailor Pens on the virtual pen show, among this one among them. I was able to get a really good deal on it and so I jumped on this price. I love this. However, I just recently learned that this is not even a habanero. Habaneros are plump and round and not chilies. Um, it has a, an orange cap with the whole pen has silver trimmings and the finial is gold, which is a weird design choice if you ask me. The section is also um, opaque, just like the cap, and the barrel is translucent in this orange. It also came with a converter. The pen was inked, so I cleaned it, and I would love to test it out today. It has a 21 karat MS nib, which stands for music, and if you look at this this is just wow this is a stubby nib i have recently been enjoying the stubby nibs and so i thought you know if this is something that i enjoy maybe i should try this i did not know let's check here that this pen was numbered but when i looked through this whole box i found that i have number 682 out of 800. That is really cool. Um, yeah, so since I haven't really measured and compared Sailor pens, uh, this is the second one that I own. The others I have not compared yet. I think that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to compare it to Twisby Eco, Alami, uh, Safari in this case this is an LX the LX the Safari is the same shape just plastic and then an Esterbrook ST I'm also going to put a Pro Gear Slim right next to it so you can see how it compares in size Esterbrook ST is definitely the biggest and then I thought just for fun we could also look at the um, Pilot Custom 823 right next to it. This one is a gold nib. This one is a gold nib. This one too. The others are regular steel nibs. Let's uncap those. And I am going to not post any of the pens that I would normally not post. This one is so short and so narrow that I can't really use it without it posted. And then let's let's look at how the Pro Gear lays in my hand. I think it's a pen that is on the smaller side, and uh, there are a few pens that I don't use unposted, like the Lamy Two Thousand, and this uh, Pro Gear would be one of those pens as well. 
the Esterbrook SD is on the edge for me. I can use it unposted and I mostly use it unposted, but if it was like a centimeter longer or even 0.5 centimeters longer, then I would never really think about posting it. It is postable. It feels a little bit awkward and it makes the pen really long. So I generally don't post it. The uh, Pilot Custom A23, I never post. And I also never post my Lamis. And that, interestingly enough, makes the Pilot, uh, what, this is a Sailor Simone, the Sailor, the longest pen. But it's a comfortable length in when it's in my hand. The grip section is quite short, but the threads and the transition to the barrel isn't, there's no step down, it's very, very slight. So even if this is too small for you, you could hold it back here without it feeling weird. I am losing light really quickly right now. So let me just po put these all away. And then where are the things? And then we'll measure it, weigh it and do a writing sample. I haven't really written with this either. So I am very curious to see how that is going to work out for me. Um, let me check where I put the caliper and the scale. Everything is right here. All right, so I need a pen and a paper because this is info that I put into my uh, fountain pen log. So the grip section, where do I hold it? Basically closer to the bottom. Let's do here is 10.8. 81 millimeters L C L without okay so the length I think I'm going to turn on my light maybe I should have done this Four. What do we think? Is that okay? Um, is 12.8. That's, I think that's the same length as it is, as it is, Um, as the Lamy Studio, I just filmed that video prior to this one, so that's why I'm comparing it to it. And then the length without the cap is 11.5 centimeters, all of this, and then capped or posted rather, it is 14.9. So let's weigh this thing and then do a writing sample. Alrighty. Uncapped, it weighs. That cannot be. All right. 17 grams, 16. Weight without is 16 grams and the weight with the cap which doesn't really matter if I post it or cap it is weight with is 25 grams so this is definitely a light pen let's grab a notebook and dip it into some ink the ink that I'm usually using for testing nibs is waterman serenity blue as I usually just dip test them to see how it feels, but I also, um, if I encounter difficulties, I will actually uh, then ink the whole pen for a cycle to see 
how if something is wrong with the with the pen or the nib or something so uh, let's see um, I have seen a video by Brian Goulet maybe I should link that in the description box below about all the sailor nibs and he says the angle is also to be considered with the sailor nibs so let's see this is a okay well this is going to start really great let's see Sailor Pro Gear Two Hot Habanero. <sighs> Look at how wet this is. Um, it is, did I say six hundred and eighty eight out of eight hundred? Uh, I think my normal writing angle is more like this, but I'm and I'm holding it a little bit higher. This is a music nib. I, as you can see, I do get some hard starts from this, so we will see how that is working out for me. Is there anything else I wanted to write? Yes, so let's try. Down strokes, side strokes, up strokes, and I'm currently really enjoying these broader nibs. I think I'm going to dip it one more time just to give it the opportunity to have enough. Um, so let's try different angles. So I'm holding it really, really low right now. There's not really a lot of ink coming out if I'm doing upstrokes, but it works. Let's hold it a little bit higher. Let's hold it really high. This is definitely looks like the best um, angle to hold the pen. Um, let's write, let's write something if the pen writes the quick um, Yes, there are skipping issues. I can see that. You can see that for sure. Um, I will need to ink this up and just use it for a little while to see um, if it's me, if it's the pen, and see if it works for me. Serenity in everyday writing. And if that is the case, and I can figure out how to hold it, if that is comfortable for me, then I will probably just keep this pen as is. If And I'm giving myself time until the San Francisco Pen Show, which happens in August. It is currently March when I'm filming this, so the, there is quite a lot of time from now until then to get to know this nib more. And if all of this is really comfortable and it's usable in everyday use i don't feel like i need to write really well i'm writing really big here but i'm also not writing that sm smaller right up here and it still seems to be legible so i will just test this uh, put it to it put it to a really good test and see how i'm enjoying this how much use it gets when it has this music nip but before I actually purchased this pen, I reached out to Kirk Spear and I assume that this is true for other nib, nib grinders as well. Um, 
I asked him if he would be able to do, his nib grind is the Tanto nib, which is similar to the Techo nib from Estabrook. Um, both of those are interpretations of a Naginata Togi grind. And if he would be able to make a Tanto nib uh, from a Sailor Music nib. And he really replied super promptly and said, yes, of course I can. Um, and so that was definitely another push for me to just get this and try it out and be able to see how I would enjoy a music nib. As you can see, I am not really sticking to my own limitations. Um, I just recently purchased in, in really quick succession two pens from D-Stashes. Um, there's lots of things to get to know right now, so I will take a step back again. Um, those came along at the right time for me. This was a special one because I really wanted this pen for a long time. I never thought I would be able to acquire one, so I went for it. Um, that's the thing with buying things secondhand. You never know when it might appear on a buy-sell trade page and then you need to figure out is this likely to come back really soon or should I just forego my um, arbitrary rules and jump on it right now. Um, I'm totally okay with that. That's where I'm going with this um, because I am really wanting to explore various nibs. I'm, I'm interested currently, as you see in these broader stubby nibs, those, those are my, my thing right now. Um, and maybe I'll pass this along. Maybe I'll get it ground. I don't know. Um, but this was something that I was able to, to acquire um, with my budget. So that's definitely something that I'm super excited about, exploring all of those different nibs. I, my friend um, Lorelei is sending me a broad sig nib that I just recently mentioned in one of my uh, wishlist videos. And so some of these opportunities arise and she doesn't use it, she doesn't really like it. So if I like it and enjoy it and I might think of purchasing it, then of course I'm not going to say no I can't because uh, May 15th is the next day. Maybe I'll not buy a big pen on May 15th. Who knows? So that doesn't really have to say anything, anything to do with this new pen day. These were my first impressions. I will definitely have to get to know this. If you have a Sailor Music nib, I would love to hear your experiences with this pen. What do you use it for? Um, what inks do you put in? Is there something that needs to be like remembered with the inks? And yeah, I think uh, that's all I wanted to say. Now I will make sure to use this in my next ink rotation and then I will have a better impression or well, first pen usage in in that currently inked review whenever that will happen um, and yeah and if it keep if it stays and I will use it for a while then I will definitely try and make an updated video on how I feel after a, a certain time thank you so much for watching I hope to see you in another video bye